Inside the Craft Inspector software, there is a keyword generator tool. Let's go ahead and show you how to use that here. So what we can do here, all you have to do is enter in your seed keyword, your main keyword for whatever niche you're working in. So let's say, for example, it was forged. So we put forged in there and we can go ahead and click go. And what it's doing, it's going out to etsy.com and gathering the auto suggest keywords. Now, while that's working there, let me just show you what I mean. If you go to Etsy and you type in the word forged, you're gonna see all these keywords that show up here. But if you actually type in the letter A, you'll get some words and then B and C and so on and so forth. And you'll get a whole bunch of keywords that are being generated directly from Etsy's auto suggest engine, which basically tells you that these are the most searched keywords for that particular seed keyword when you append the alphabet to it. So that's basically what it's doing here. And you can see just from the single keyword, we were able to generate 200 um, possible ideas that we can uh, look into, further research. Now there is another option where we can do a deep search. Now the deep search appends two characters. So it will be like, if we bring back up Etsy real quick, so it'll be like if you put A, A, and then B, and C, but you can see it doesn't come up with as many um, keywords, but it can, and it does take a little bit longer. So we can try that as well. So if we put forged in here and do deep search, and it does take quite a while. As you can see here, it has to go through 1,406 different variations. So you can see now it's going and searching different variations with two letter combinations all the way through the alphabet. So it does take a little bit of time, but as you can see here, we're already closing in on 300 keywords really, really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stop that so we can stop the execution and I could show you some additional features in here. So in the keyword generator, you have the ability to sort each column. Now I do actually want to explain what rank means here. So let's go back to Etsy and if you type in forged in the letter A, you're gonna see some of these keywords coming down. So what it's saying here is that the next searched most popular search keyword is going to be forged axe and then forged all forged axe head. So this is rank one, rank two, rank three for this particular seed keyword. And so in here you can see the seed keyword and then this is the number one rank that showed up when you put it in there. So if you actually type in forged three, you go back there, you go forged three, you'll see that 3D shows up. So that's the number one ranked word that will show up for that particular seed keyword. So this gives you an idea. These are the number one ranked keywords for the seed given. So this gives you an idea that these are the most searched keywords on Etsy according to the Etsy Suggest engine. So you can see just how powerful that really is. Now we have some other options here as well. You can quickly just sort the columns just by clicking the top row here, just at the very top of the title cell in the column. You can also sort, sorry, not sort, but filter really quickly by using the quick filters. If you just click this little search button, it'll show a bunch of options here. You can select, for example, if you want to see all the rank of less than three, you can quickly do that. Now, if you'd like to do it manually, you can actually type in what you want up here. So say if you wanted to see less than 20, you can apply it like that or greater than 20 like that. You can also clear the column, the filters from this particular column as well. In the columns that contain text, you can quickly search just by clicking the search and you can search right inside. So if you wanna see only words that has the letter or certain word, like copper or something, and you can quickly see how quick it is to search within a column. It's really awesome. Now, if you need to copy the keywords really quickly or save them, it's really simple. If you wanna copy them, all you have to do is right click and under the copy option here, you can copy all these selected rows. Selected means the ones that have the check boxes here. And if you wanna check a row, all you have to do anywhere in that row, just double click and it'll automatically select it for you in that check. You can also just click the little check box up here and you got options to select all the rows, unselect them all, just select the highlighted ones. The highlighted ones are the ones that you have highlighted like so. It doesn't matter which cell in the row is highlighted. To highlight multiple rows, you can hold down the shift key. To individual rows, you can hold down the control key. And now we can do things like that. 
And so what you can do is you can copy the ones that are selected. Again, selected means the actual checkbox is selected. And you can also do all the rows to clipboard. The highlighted, again, is the ones where you have the uh, kind of highlighted like so. You can also do um, copy selected keyboard or keywords to clipboard and all keywords to clipboard. So we can just select like that. And now all the keywords are copied. So if you bring up a notepad and paste, there they are. You also have those options just down below under the file. And here you can actually save all your keyword data to a project file. The project file is specific to only the keyword generator. So it's a keyword generator project file. So you can go ahead and save it and load it. You can save to comma delimited file, just a plain text. You can save just the keywords. So these ones here are saving all the columns. And the same idea here with what we had with copying. So this is a very powerful tool for getting all the keywords that you specifically need during your research for uh, looking at products and shops on Etsy.